Noble subjects of the domain, welcome to a new broadcast. I am Sire Vince, your host, and today I will be sharing my thoughts on a LARP-related question that might have crossed the minds of many. And so, without further ado, here is the question of today's video. Is LARPing expensive? The short answer here is yes and no. It truly depends on your budget. Now, can it get expensive? Yes. How expensive are we talking about? Also yes. <laughs> hmm. But does it have to be expensive? No, of course not. Again, it depends on how much money you're willing to invest. Naturally, if you spare no expense and actively purchase gear and items with the highest price tags, your wallet and your credit score will be begging for mercy faster than it takes you to say, put it on my tab and keep it. This is a reminder to all that it's best to spend responsibly. Now, if it's within your budget and you know you can afford it, sure, spend away at your heart's content. But what if you work on a much smaller budget? Granted, it may be a bit of a bummer not to have the coolest toys or a well-garnished inventory, but you can make the best of it without having to spend nearly as much as a noble with a fat treasury at their disposal. Basic items and gear are generally more affordable and beginner-friendly, and you have the possibility to build yourself up over time by adding an accessory or two after each game, for example. Starting small is best for tighter budgets and is an opportunity for great character development. Hear me out on this one. Imagine you are a mere stable boy, son to an ordinary family of peasant farmers. Suddenly, you find yourself thrown into a world beyond your wildest imagination the moment you leave your cozy hometown. A world filled with mystical beasts, dark overlords, savage hordes, magic, political intrigues, unresolved mysteries, and so much more. Countless doors now open themselves to you. Endless potential is within your reach. So tell me, stable boy, which path are you going to take? See what I mean? You can invest in basic equipment, gear, and clothes found in specialized LARP stores near you. If there are no physical locations nearby, online shops are your best bet. You can save up more depending on how you build your costume. Sure, you can buy simple LARP clothes in specialized stores, but you could also channel your inner Macklemore and go thrift shopping. You would be surprised what treasures you can find, if you know where to look. Been there, done that for several years, and I tell you, it could be worth your while. Or if you have a knack for sewing, which I don't, and is likely never going to have, you can use the money you would normally spend on LARP clothes and gear to purchase patrons, fabrics, and textiles instead. In time, you may be able to create your own LARP costumes from scratch for yourself and maybe for others if you feel ambitious and confident enough in your craftsmanship. Speaking of which, this could be one of the reasons as to why LARPing can be so expensive. You see, LARPing is a niche activity, even to this day, and there are only a handful of companies that specialize in that field. Most companies who offer LARP-related products and services are majoritarily composed of artisans who, for the most part, make those products by hand. Understandably, their craft does not come cheap. If they were produced en masse in factories, it would all be much cheaper, both in price, but also in quality. Personally, I don't want that happening. Besides, you can't spell artisanship without art, and as an artist myself, I insist on encouraging and supporting artisans locally and abroad. Though, at the end of the day, this remains my own opinion on the matter, so please take this with a sprinkle of salt. But I would like to hear what you have to say. Let me know in the comment section down below, and consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you have found this broadcast interesting and wish to see more. This was Sire Vince, your humble host, wishing you all a great one.